Welcome to Introduction to QT Plot 2. Today we are going to look at some commonly used plots and we will start with linear regression. For that I have here some data written in Excel. It is not important to know what the individual things mean, but it is important to notice that we have an X value, a Y value, and a Y error value. So I've produced this uh, at random, and so it's not coming from uh, any particular thing, but at the end of the day, it's meant for demonstration. So the data shows the concentration of a protein decreasing in a concentration to zero on the x-axis, and the optical density that will be obtained after reacting with a chemical. If the terminology is strange, concentrate on the X and Y parameters. That will tell you what we're doing here. The next thing I want to do is to highlight the data. Right click the mouse and go to copy. And I'm on my QT plot table. I right click and go to paste. So we have all of the data in there. We will repeat the same thing for y and for 3y. So the same thing now done for y. And for now, I just want to ignore 3y and we concentrate on the x column and the y column and see what kind of plot we can generate from there. Now we highlight the area with the data in QT plot. and we select plot and we see that there are lots of options down here but we choose scatter to get a scatter plot to fit a linear regression through the points we first right click on the graph to select it and then we go to analysis fit linear and we get a straight line running through the graph if we space this upper part of the window down, we will notice that there are fit parameters here which have been printed out for, out for us, including a chi-square value, arrow square value, adjusted arrow square, and many, many other important parameters. Usually, data comes with some variation. We will now imagine the data we plotted had some variation. This can either be standard deviation or standard error at the minimum. Let us again copy the data from the Excel file and insert into QT plot into column 3y. We have to let QT plot know this is meant for error bars. So we're going to do that now. So we highlight, right click, copy, back on QT plot, we right click. 3y, sorry, left click, right click, and then go to paste, and we have our error bar, uh, our error values in there. The next important thing we want to do is to let Qt plot know these are error values. So we do what we saw before in the first part of this um, Qt plot tutorial. We will go to 3y on the heading, right click. And then we go to set us and we want this to be y arrow now to get a second plot we are going to highlight the data again and as we did before we're going to go to plot scatter and uh, we will now notice that we have different kinds of plots with the arrow bars included into them and we can fit a line by right clicking on graph 2 to highlight and then we go to analysis fit linear and again we have our line going in here but note that due to the error bars we have a totally different fit compared to when we didn't have the error bars so again 
we are having the properties of the fit described up here. In certain cases, it will be mandatory to read data of plots. A data reader function is found under the data tab. So to go about that, first right click the graph of choice to make sure its window is active. Then you go to data. And then if you look down, you have data reader. And notice this window here, this black window with green writings. When you move the cause onto the graph, you're going to be seeing values. And so you can click on a particular point and its value is going to be shown in this green window, both the X and the Y coordinates. The procedure for doing nonlinear regression is similar to the one above. There are some predefined fits and we can also use ones which we define by ourselves. But this is going to be the subject of another endeavor.